Welcome to Second Take, the show that focuses on the issues behind the news. The South African new vehicle market remains in dire straits, with sales down significantly from the record level seen in 2006. With me in the studio is senior contributing editor Irma Fenter to shed some light on the current state of the market and on a possible timeline for recovery. Irma, welcome to Second Take. How will the market perform this year? We'll probably see sales level of around 370,000 units. That's according to Toyota. Some people are more, uh, less optimistic. They're thinking 350,000 units, like GMSA's uh, CEO, Steve Koch. Uh, that will bring us down 31% from last year's levels, uh, which is quite bad, uh, as you can imagine. Um, Toyota's CEO, Dr. Jan van Sale, says we'll probably see a period of consolidation this year after a very long period of uh, continuous falling sales. So um, this year we'll probably see a turnaround, hopefully see starting to see maybe some small growth coming through from next year. To put this into perspective, you said 370,000 units. Is that really that bad? Well, it is actually pretty bad. It's half what it was in 2006. If we go back to last year, we sold about 530,000 units, and then we sold 675,000 units in 2007, and 714,000 units in 2006, which was the record uh, number of vehicles we've ever sold in terms of buses, uh, commercial vehicles, which is trucks, and then also passenger cars. So yes, it's pretty bad. Why is the market experiencing this downturn? Well, it all boils down to the global credit crunch. It's also, it had a huge local impact. So we simply have uh, consumers, they don't have any money to buy a big ticket item like a car. And we also have banks, they're pretty much pinching their pennies and they're not willing to give out credit to consumers. So you have this problem that we have a credit approval rating at the moment of 25% if you want to buy a new vehicle, which is the problem. Now this leads us to the next question. When will we see the market experiencing some growth again or upturn? Well, also opinions vary and a lot of people, there's a lot of crystal ball gazing going on and a lot of people are guessing what's going to happen. It seems to me there's a bit of optimism that by 2010 we'll see a slow uptick, 3-4%, 2011, 2012, maybe we'll see things uh, improve again. Then of course 2013, people are very optimistic that that will be a good year for the local automotive market because of this record year that we, f we saw in 2006 when we sold 714,000 units. By 2013, these cars will all be um, seven years old and you'll have a replacement cycle kicking in where you have to replace these vehicles. But uh, until then, pr things are probably going to be rough. We have a global capacity of 80 million vehicles that we can build. We're going to utilize 60% of that this year. I mean, Nissan South Africa is telling us that uh, sales in sub-Saharan Africa, excluding South Africa, will be down 20 to 25% this year. We once had a hope of a million uh, unit uh, market in South Africa. Well, now we're hoping for 500,000 units in a good year and that will maybe be the new average that we're working towards. There was some good news coming out of General Motors this week. Can you tell us more? Well, that is the at least some good news for, for this week after we've had this report of this dismal 370,000 units for this year. Uh, General Motors emerged from bankruptcy, Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection in the US as a leaner, smaller company. Uh, they've managed to throw away that debt and legacy costs. Uh, they've moved that to a new uh, new new company that, that, that won't form part of the new General Motors. And they'll focus on the Cadillac and the Chevrolet brands. So they've emerged from that. General Motors South Africa will be part of this new company, which is good news for South Africa. And then this week, uh, MD Steve Koch told us that uh, assembly will be safe in South Africa. The PE plant, uh, the Struendale plant down at Port Elizabeth and the Kempton Road plant will continue production. At the moment, they do the Isuzu commercial vehicles. So they do the Opel Corsa utility um, and the Isuzu KB uh, pickup. And uh, from 2011, we'll see that they'll produce the Opel replacement, the Opel Corsa utility replacement vehicle. They'll also do the new uh, Isuzu KB and then also a five door hatchback vehicle that will be built on the same platform as the Corsa utility. Uh, the only thing is maybe this won't be badged Opel because Opel doesn't form a big part of the new General Motors. Uh, so this may be badged Chevrolet Cadillac, we don't, we're not too sure, but um, that will be the good news for the BE plant that will continue production going into the future. Irma, thank you very much and thanks Pleasure. for joining us on Second Take. That's the show for today. Thank you for watching and join us again next week for more news analysis.